When I was younger, I used to walk short distances looking for firewood. Not anymore. Now, if you're a school in Uganda and you need to cook for many students, the firewood has become scarce and an expensive resource. Now, the biogas digester is the solution to this problem. Well, a biogas digester is like a human stomach. When we take in the food and we take water, digestion takes place, but in the absence of uh, oxygen. Now, that's how a biodigester is. You will put in the organic matter, the organic matter goes in the, in the digester, and then we have methane being produced off, and then uh, it's taken to the kitchen for cooking. Well, the slurry that comes out is a very good source of fertilizer. The waste from the biodigester comes from uh, the, the pig waste. We have the food leftovers from the kitchen. We also, we also have uh, animal waste, like uh, from the cows, and then uh, from the banana peelings waste. Well, the company was registered in 2011. We have currently built up to 85 digesters uh, of different sizes ranging from 4 cubic meters to 50 cubic meters. Uh, we are constructing three different types of digesters. Currently we are having 22 permanent workers. We have 40 contract workers. Uganda has uh, approximately 22,000 schools. So each school digs a pit latrine. Now these pit latrines are either emptied every term or they build a new pit latrine every three to five years. Now our bio latrine lasts up to just a lifespan of 30 years and this is much cheaper in the long run and it's also an eco-friendly system. The school decided to take this innovative technology because of the pathetic state we have been in. We have been buying a lot of firewood and as you see the suit here, it has been so, 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 so uh, taxing on our lives. In this case, if we get the gas, if we start using gas, all this smoke will be gone, all the suit on the walls will be gone, and the school is going to be extremely clean as I want it. Yes, hello, Mr. Subi. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? I'm okay. Yes. Glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Okay. So how is the digester doing? The digester is okay. Well, the digester is working well. Yes. Yes. Have you had any pressure fluctuation? Well, of course, yes. When I feed it, yes. when I feed it with enough, yes. it gives me a lot of, uh, of, of, of gas. Yes, yes. But if I don't feed it well, then it will, the, the amount of gas will be reduced. Uh, well, I can see you've arrested the shelter problem, like uh, we had discussed. Yes, of course. This has also assisted me so much. Okay. Yes, it's working okay. All right. Yeah. I chose to install biogas digester because um, charcoal is expensive in the first place. But with the biogas, I collect the animal waste and then I feed it in the, in the digester, then gas is produced to preserve the nature because cutting down trees over and over to burn, to burn charcoal out of it uh, would destroy the environment, you know? And then with the biogas, it is uh, clean, uh, whereas charcoal is uh, not all that clean. And so that is why I decided to, to, to install biogas digester. But green heat is uh, taking further steps in mitigating uh, climate change by raising more awareness in schools, raising more awareness in households. The more biogas digesters we build, we reduce the reliance on firewood for cooking. We also get uh, the slurry which is used for fertilizer, and then we have uh, good crops growing. You know, we have we are getting food security. So biogas is being a very good service for me.